You join us on the same day as our last vlog where we completed the set of eight Delph locks. After that we turned left along the Stour Bridge Canal as opposed to making a right turn along the Fens Branch. use a little encouragement. I didn't hear you! Subscribe! The sun's pretty low in the sky right now. Will we make it past the 16 locks before sunset? Like the video if you think we will. The lock is only part of the fun. Watch out for the moorhen nests between lock 6 and 7. One more and we're halfway there. So it's one of those locks that literally goes straight into another lock. Literally from under the bridge and then straight into another lock.
the second of the two locks now and it's a beautiful evening. Over in the distance there we can see views right across to the Red House Cone. It's right next to the canal so we should also get a good view of it when we go past. Go. Is there vandalising? Is there vandalising part? Yeah. Hang on. I'll come and help you. Hang your head in shit. No, no, I, I'm just gonna come and help you unload. Bless her. Really does try. Oh. Oh, my love. They have been pretty stiff, the locks. Some of them not even I was able to open properly. Proud of you. Proud of me. So we leave not very much room at all at the front here. And that is of course because of the sill which we can just see appearing at the back here. And Dan's left lots of room at the back. So there's no chance whatsoever of this catching on the We just passed by the Red House Glass Cone on the Stour Bridge 16. Located alongside the canal, the brick cone was used for glass making and was built in the late 1700s. It stands at over 100 feet in height. This now has a visitor centre, but it wasn't open when we passed by.
behind me was the penultimate lock and the, both actually neither of the doors was shut on that lock so a really nice family actually stopped by and helped us out and I don't know if you can see them sat up by the lock but they helped us out, they helped us to keep all of the paddles and doors shut so we could fill the lock, get in and then go down and get back out again as well so brilliant got one more lock to do today. We have to be mindful of dangers like this on the canal, especially when travelling with a young child on board. So everybody, it's like quarter to ten at night and we've got one more lock to do, which is the 16th out of the 16 locks. My lights have already came on. So that will show how dark it actually is. Here's the lock we got to do. We'll do this and then we'll go and move up somewhere. And then I think it's definitely time to get some food and get some sleep. When the solar lights turn on, you know it's time to moor up. the last locks of the night and we thought we'd do a bit of teamwork. Oh no there's oh oh no trust it to be on the last lock of the day as well. Oh dear god does a um stick get the boat hook because there's a lot of gunk here. Ew. I don't really like picking things up with my bare hands but this is so disgusting that needs must um i really want to invest in one of those special metal poles where you can pick up litter without using your hands um so i think if anybody does sign up to our um we've got a two pound patreon where we really want to help kind of help people help the environment just do good and i think if anyone signs up we're gonna match the the pledge each month and we're gonna use the money towards good things so i think first month is gonna be a litter picker so i don't have to pick it out with my hands anymore i mean george is telling it you nicely i'm gonna tell it you how i think pick up your trash people and stop chucking it in the canal it makes georgia unhappy i have to hear about it stop putting your trash in the canal I've ended up with a boat of somebody else's trash. So, the last lock is done. George is just gonna head out of it. Um, we're gonna go more up now. Pretty tired. Any idea what number? 16. 16! The final one. He can't really see down, but he is shutting the gates and the paddles. And it's done. We can go more up now. Whee! Today, people please if you enjoyed it put a thumbs up if you've got anything to say please drop down a comment and you know already if you haven't please press the subscribe button and we will see you all next week bye it's so dark we're so tired and I think it's time to leave it there so see you next week Right guys, it is Georgia here. I really don't expect you can see a thing, 
except for our solar lights. Um, but we found a place to moor. We've got some some metal here. We're going to show you mooring up in the dark. Um, we've got a light on, so we can see a, a little bit. If I tilt it, I'll tilt it towards us when we moor up. Um, but we'll moor up quickly, and then we can relax. Mm -hmm. 